Hi friends, I'm so excited to be with you guys today. We are going to talk about grace. Now when I say grace, I mean treating someone kinder than they deserve. So how many of you have ever had someone do something harmful to you, whether or not they did it on accident or on purpose? Now, when that happens, you have some choices. You could completely ignore that person and never talk to them again, or you could stare at them, you could say mean things about them, you could even talk to them and say, you know what, you're not my friend anymore. There are lots of ways that you could go about talking to that person, but the way God wants us to do it, he wants us to do it with kindness, with love, and speaking the truth. So even though they hurt you, he wants you to speak kindly to them. You can say, you know, you really hurt my feelings, but I forgive you. I really don't want you to do that to me again. You can speak in kindness and you can forgive others and you cannot let it make your heart bitter. Do you know who's a great example of this? Jesus. Jesus died on the cross, and while Jesus was being hung on the cross, he could have said anything. He had the power to come down from the cross. He could have punished those who put him on the cross, but instead, do you know what he said? In Luke chapter 23, verse 24, Jesus says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus is a perfect example of grace. He could have been mad, he could have been angry, he could have been bitter, he could have said hurtful words, but instead Jesus showed them forgiveness, he showed them kindness, and he was gracious towards them. Now, when we have situations where we get to practice grace, we could take two options. We could say, I, I love you and I forgive you, or you, when someone hurts you, you could say, you won't be my friend anymore. That's like taking this banana, which has truth inside of it, but you just say, you won't be my, you cannot be my friend anymore. And you just smash it and it's hurtful. Or you talked about that person to other people and then you smash it again. And then you ignore them, you smash it. And then you say hurtful things about them. You don't forgive them. You don't pay attention to them anymore. It just makes your heart sad and it makes your heart bitter. You hold on to it, you keep bringing it up. That makes your truth, even though you might be saying something that's honest, saying you hurt my feelings, when we add hurtful things to that, when we say things like, you can't be my friend anymore, I don't wanna talk to you anymore, or you talk about that person behind their back, that is like you take what's on the inside, that truth, and instead you crush it. And that's not what God wants us to do. He wants us to package the truth inside kindness and inside grace, to be kind and forgiving and gracious to one another. But we can't do that on our own. We have to ask God to help us to be gracious to other people. So right now, we're gonna pray and we're gonna ask God to help us. Jesus, we thank you for your goodness, God. We thank you that you are the perfect example of grace. That when we sin, you forgive us, even when you were on the cross, when you could have said mean things, you could have been hurtful, God. Instead, you said, Father, will you forgive them? We thank you for your perfect examples of grace. And God, we ask you in every situation that you would help us to be gracious to other people. We thank you in advance because we know you are going to help us. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wow, guys, God is going to help us to be kind and gracious to other people. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.